Hello everyone, Rand here, and in today's video, we're going to be testing every single subsoiler in the game here. Uh, it's come to my realization, everyone, that apparently not all subsoilers are created equal here in the game. Uh, kind of uh, interesting. I would have thought, you know, if it's in the subsoiler category, they're all the same, right? Nope, apparently not, everyone. Uh, same thing goes across a couple other categories of equipment in the game here as well. And I want to do a couple videos on those as well. So, again, if folks have any uh, suggestions for videos like this you'd like to see, let me know. Throw it down in the comments here. Uh, we are looking at the subsoilers here today, which are supposed to count as a plow, by the way. However, different subsoilers leave different textures behind, and yeah, it's, it's rather interesting. So we're going to take a look at all these here today. Uh, we got them all lined up as they are in the store here. So going from the Agrisim all the way up to the Bed Nair, Culty Plow subsoiler here. Uh, this one also fertilizes, by the way. That's the only one that fertilizes. And then we also have the Coon here, the Agrisim, and the other 3-meter Agrisim here that have attachments on the back for other equipment. Most likely, probably, you know, planters. That's I think that's the idea behind them. So again, the 3-meter uh, Agrisim, and then the 4-meter Agrisim, and then the 4-meter Coon. Uh, the Coon here is the same one. So these both are the, exactly the same subsoilers. Just this one has the uh, Power Harrow and Cedar attachment. So anyway, let's, uh, let's get started here, everyone. Uh, first off, on the field, we have a harvested field right here. This field is freshly harvested. We go over here, everyone, you can see a, just a slight difference, not much of a difference. Hopefully that shows up on the video here. This is a mulched section of the field. So this section has been mulched. I don't know if you get down real close. You can see the wheat stubble there. Here, the wheat stubble is gone. So very slight difference. Over here, everyone, I have mulched and shallow cultivated. So we have stubble tillage on this part of the field here. We can go, there we go. Not particularly big fan of this menu system, I might add. Probably not going to show up real well. Oh, yes, it does. Okay, there we go. So you can see we got stubble tillage here. Over here, everyone, we have just stubble tillage, no mulch. I'm kind of curious to see what this is going to do for the weeds here as well, by the way. And then also the rocks. So we're going to see what we end up with here. Uh, over here, everyone, we have a plowed field. And then on the very back side, we have a cultivated section. Um... Don't think it's going to make much difference. We'll maybe test the one across that on that. They're probably all going to be the same, I'm pretty sure. So again, stubble tillage. Stubble tillage plus mulch. This is just harvested here again, by the way. And then mulched. And then back to harvested over here. So let's get that started. Everyone. We're going to start with the uh, smallest one here. This one apparently is good for like grapes and stuff like that. So you probably won't be using this one like on an actual field. And I do have this here just for, uh, well, in the subsoil category, everyone. So we're going to uh, check it out here. So across here, oh, that looks like those are big rocks. Yes, we're pulling up big rocks here with this one. Uh, and that, I believe that is stubble tillage. Yes, it is leaving. I'm sorry, but I can't zoom in. It's, uh, yeah, I don't know, it is what it is. So you're just going to have to uh, go with what I'm saying here. That appears to be stubble tillage. Now, curious, what's going to happen once we get to this? Oh, everyone, we're still ending up with stubble tillage. And still stubble tillage. And then I'm assuming once we get to the plow here, it's probably going to change to something different. Well, let's see. Is that going to be cultivated or seed bed? That is going to be the question, everyone. Don't know. We'll have to check the map here and hopefully we can tell. Um, obviously, everyone, assuming it's a bit of a bug, you cannot zoom in on the map. So, yeah. Uh, we appear to be getting, I think those look like large rocks. And then it does not change across the cultivated, which is what I would expect. I mean, I don't believe we're going to see any difference between the plowed and the cultivated here. And that all appears to be stubble tillage. And then looks like we have seed bed. Yes, we got seed bed across the plowed. Everyone. So it is giving us seed bed on the plowed ground. So that's what that one's doing. So stubble tillage across everything else here. And then once we get over to something that has been cultivated, we are ending up, or cultivated or plowed, we are ending up with seed bed. Now, interestingly enough, Evan, I was actually expecting to possibly see seed bed over here as well, but we are not seeing seed bed there. It is, uh, if it's already stubble tillage, it is staying stubble tillage, apparently. Okay, next one up here is the three meter agrisim. We'll make a pass with this one here as well. So again, as I would expect, everyone, we are getting stubble tillage. And uh, by the way, this is counting as plow. We'll, we'll check that when we're all done. I'm gonna make sure these all count as plows. They should. <laughs> Again, I mean, as we're finding out, though, apparently not all cultivating equipment, and I'm doing plows, power hose, discs, everything, everyone, uh, is apparently not created equal here in the game, which kind of surprising. I'm not sure, I mean, if that's a bug, 
or if that's going to stay this way in the game, or, or we'll find out. I won't bother probably going all the way here, but this is uh, yeah, apparently seed bed prep here as well. Well, maybe we'll go all the way just to make sure. Yeah, we're not going to bother. That is, that's just leaving seed bed prep. I'm sure it's going to do the same thing across the uh, cultivate as well. And then apparently on the stubble tillage oven, it is still leaving stubble tillage. So pretty much stubble tillage across all of this. That's that's rather interesting. I, mean, I was actually expecting some slightly different results there. And I think we might see some slightly different results here as we get in further in. Ah, uh, yes, here we go, everyone. This is what uh, I was saying. Now here, everyone, I'm pretty sure that's cultivated. We're also ending up with some very, very large rocks here. Oh, yeah, we're, we're definitely getting large rocks. Uh, this one... Oh, these are small rocks, aren't they? Okay, yes. So here we go, everyone. Um, again, the, the, the game help here is not very helpful. I, um... You can go and look in the game, and this is what you're supposed to get. And what we're actually getting, I wonder, are like two completely different things. So, I don't know, interesting. Anyway, we're getting large rocks from this subsoiler. Uh, the subsoilers, I believe, per the game, are supposed to produce large rocks. However, as you can see up until this point, everyone, I thought we were getting large rocks. No, we're not. Uh, all the rest of the subsoilers up until this point have produced small rocks. And as you can see, we're still getting cultivated. I'm pretty sure we're going to get cultivated over here as well. We'll go all the way across just to make sure. But, yeah, that's cultivated. Um, probably really hard to see in the video, but just slight, slight texture change here. In addition to the large rocks. And uh, over here, we already have, I think, large rocks over here. Do we not? No, these actually might be small rocks. Yeah, okay. I believe those are all small rocks. Uh, again, it's maintained its cultivated texture all the way across, which is what I would have expected. Those are small rocks. Small rocks, small rocks, small rocks. Now, this looks to be interesting here, everyone. Uh, it looks like on... Yeah, because we definitely have large rocks over here. So, on a field that only has, well, either been harvested, mulched, or stubble tillage and needs to be plowed everyone, we are getting large rocks. However, if the field has already been worked up once before, so you can see we got small rocks across this field, we are only still getting small rocks. Very, very interesting. Was not expecting that result with the rocks. I would assume everyone would have produced the same rocks across all the soil types. Apparently not. Oh, and this is, uh, yeah, counting it as cultivated all the way across. So everything is cultivated on that one. Next up, we have the AgriSim 4 meter. And I'm expecting to see a little bit of a difference here between this one and the Coon, everyone. Uh, if you look at the Coon and the AgriSim in the game here, they look almost identical. Slightly different spade shapes on them. But other than that, they're almost identical. And looks like we're just going to get stubble tillage across everything with large rocks. Those look like large rocks to me. Uh, maybe when I'm done, I'm just to make sure that I'm seeing the right size rocks here. I'll maybe just take a roll across them, and uh, anything that doesn't roll down is obviously large rocks. Okay, so I'm not going to bother to keep going, everyone. Uh, we're going to get seed bed prep across there, stubble tillage across here from the looks of it. Those are small, those are small. No, actually, you know what? These look like to be all small rocks, everyone. These are large rocks. These are small rocks. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes, everyone. Kind of hard to tell. But there you can definitely see large rocks, small rocks. Okay, so that one's leaving small rocks. Next up, we have the Coon. Expecting different results with this one from my uh, past experiences. Yes, large rocks. First off, we're getting large rocks. Second off, it's leaving cultivated. So large rocks, and it leaves a cultivated texture. And I'm sure everyone is probably going to leave cultivated across the entire field here. We'll just go to the next field. If it leaves cultivated over there, we won't bother going any further. But So again, interesting to see everyone. The Coon and the Agri same here look almost identical in the game. However, they uh, perform very, very differently. And I'm assuming over here we're probably going to end up with small rocks. Actually, kind of look like large rocks. And eh, that, that's small. That is small. Okay. So I won't bother going any further than small rocks. And yeah, small rocks. And it clearly looks smaller when you get it out of the tractor. But then, yeah, here we definitely got large rocks. Those rocks are not going to go anywhere. You're going to have to pick those rocks and talk about a lot of rocks. Okay, next one up. Uh, same setup here, everyone. Except this time we have the power harrow and the cedar on it here. 
Okay, and I might have to unhide my hood here. I'm on just so we can see. Okay, we got. We got to turn this entire combination on here. I think we're good to go, right? Oh, it's true. Not be planned in August. Okay. Oh well. Uh, interesting enough, Evan, we're actually getting the same texture. Uh, it's possibly because I'm in the month of August. Actually, let's see. What can we plant in August? Here, let's double check this here real quick a minute. In August, I can plant... I can plant... Canola. Okay, let's switch this over to canola here a minute. Yes, yes. I need to be on the right one here, which I believe is this one. There we go. Okay, let's see if we can actually plant here. Here's still, yeah, we're getting large rocks. I kind of expected that one. Yep, so we're still getting large rocks. So this probably is not a real good combination to use, Evan, because this is going to be really hard on your equipment, right? We have a subsoil oven that is counting as a plow, leaving a cultivated texture, bringing up large rocks for your power harrow and your cedar to pass over. Hmm, very, very interesting. I'm going to make a pass all the way across the other end of it because I'm kind of curious to see what's, uh, how this is going to affect like as far as weeds and stuff go here. So we're going to go all the way to the end of this one. So that's the last thing I'm going to do Evan, when we're all done with these. I am going to uh, fast forward time a day or two here and we're going to see what's, uh, what weeds do on the various states here. I'm expecting to see some different results there as well. Okay, back to the next one here. Keep this uh, moving as fast as we can. Okay, we got two more left Evan. These are the large subsoilers. So this one, everyone leaves stubble tillage. I would expect stubble tillage all the way across and then small rocks. So I hope you folks are keeping track of this. Yes, this is uh, definitely some interesting results. And again, as I was saying, everyone, not all subsoils are apparently created equal. And this goes for a couple other tillage equipment categories in the game here as well. So we'll be uh, checking those out. And again, if folks have any uh, suggestions, things you like to see on this, let me know because... Uh, <laughs> Apparently, uh, the things are definitely getting interesting here in Farming Simulator 22. Keep in mind, everyone, we're still in the early days, so some of this might change here later on in the game. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure if the Giants intended it this way, or this is just like, they made a lot, a lot of oopsies. Don't know. <laughs> Your folks' guess is as good as mine here. And it's interesting to see, too, having, like, the in-game help. Like, it tells you what it's supposed to do and what you're supposed to get, and we're getting completely different results. So this one, everyone, is... Oh. Okay, so this one's cultivated. I believe that's leaving seedbed prep, though. However, we got one slight problem. It is leaving rocks behind. Let's get out and take a look at this one. Uh, we are ended up with cultivated texture. Pretty sure that's cultivated. Let's go check this here a minute. Looks the same as that, right? So, actually, that's the same as this. This is the cultivated one. So cultivated texture. But then back behind here, everyone... We have, I'm pretty sure that's seedbed prep. Well, uh, let's finish going here, then we'll go check this. Turn it back on here. So we are fertilizing here, everyone. This is the only subsoil that also fertilizes. And like I was saying, the only problem with this one is we're ending up with large rocks. Now I wonder... This uh, doesn't really count, probably doesn't count as a roller on the back. We're going to find out here. Nope, it does not get rid of the small rocks. Well, that's kind of too bad, everyone. So on a previously cultivated field where we have rocks, we still have rocks after it. So uh, I don't know. It's kind of a problem, everyone, because you still have rocks yet. Like, what are you supposed to do with the rocks? Your field is ready to plant, but you still have rocks on it. So anyway, there's that one. Completely different than the other subsoiler here, which, again, like I said, this one's leaving seed bed prep. This is also seed bed prep, by the way. So that's rather interesting. We have two different seed bed textures here. Uh, if we go to the map, again, I'm sorry, but I can't zoom in. But you can see over here, can I turn off? I don't know. Can you not turn off the... I guess you can't. Well, wait, maybe here we can. Turn off our vehicles. There we go. Hopefully you folks can see this a little better now. There we go. Much better. So you can see, Evan, we have seed bed prep. So both of these are seed bed prep. So both those seed bed prep. Uh, cultivated. That one's planted all the way across. It's got seed bed. Over, over here, one we have seed bed. So you can see seed bed. But then this one is stubble tillage. Uh, we're also getting large rocks with this. So it looks like any of the subsoilers that cultivate everyone 
uh, we are getting large rocks, which cultivators are supposed to produce large rocks, by the way. However, any of the subsoilers that leave stubble tillage, or I'm going to say they count as shallow tillage, so, so they count as shallow tillage, because shallow tillage will give the same results here. So we're going to call it shallow tillage, um, disc harrows, power harrows, subsoilers, some of the subsoilers, let's put it that way, that leave shallow tillage, everyone, will give you stubble. Or on already tilled ground, you'll end up with seed bed. So just keep that in mind. And then they produce small rocks. So anyway, that's the results, Evan. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sleep through the night here, Evan. We're going to see what weeds do on these, and then we'll be right back. Okay, and we're back here, Evan, after uh, sleeping through one night. And shall we say the plot thickens here when it comes to weeds. Actually, it kind of sort of does, kind of sort of does not. Across all the subsoilers... That gave you stubble, or I like to call it shallow tillage, everyone. You have no weeds, so there's no weeds. However, across all the subsoilers that cultivate, we have weeds. And it looks like it's about 50% weeds. I know it says 31% there. Keep in mind, it averages the area around you, everyone. So I'm going to guess this is probably 50% weeds. Over here, it says it's also 30. It's it's probably zero. I'm just keep in mind, it, it's averaging across the area where I'm standing. We get in the middle here, everyone, we can see it is 50%. So I don't know how large the radius it averages, everyone, but it averages the area. So we got 50% weeds across cultivated, zero. So if we get kind of in the middle here, there we go. Pick an area, it's 0%. I'm, I'm guessing it's the same across there, everyone. So that is on harvested, shallow tillage, mulched ground. So no matter what. It was before, everyone. It is the same across all of them, it looks like. I wonder if the... Actually, it should be different on the mulched, right? So the mulched... Let's see if I can find the mulched here a minute. The mulched is right here. No, it's still 50%. Well, yeah. Not any different than I can tell, everyone. Like I said, the numbers are changing a little bit. It's, it averages the distance. So if we go over here, yeah, it's, it's about 50%, I'm going to say. Unless it's 20. No, that's probably 50%. Okay. We'll just assume it's 50%, everyone. Probably would have to have maybe a little bit larger area to make sure and double check that. However, over here, everyone, we have no weeds. No weeds. No weeds. Are there weeds in the planted? Nope. There's no weeds here either, everyone. So, interesting note. If you have already... Hey, there's a weed. Oh, we got one weed there. That's weird. No, no. Anyway. Um, interesting note, everyone. If you are doing this across already tilled ground, you have no weeds. Even in the planted oven, there are no weeds in this. So that's pretty good. So across the plowed ground here, we have no weeds. Now, here, so there's no weeds. Okay, so this was plowed over here. Then I cultivated it. There's also no weeds over here. Though it says one here. I thought I seen one weed. Oh, maybe not. Very, very minimal weeds if there are weeds. So again, there are very, very interesting results on this. Uh, hope this helps you folks. Maybe make a decision as to what subsoil, if you're going to get a subsoil, what subsoil to get. Because... Unfortunately, in the game, everyone, it'd be nice if they at least tell you, like, I guess they kind of sorted. Well, actually, no, let's go to this one here. Yeah, both of these, everyone, they are very, very different. The Agrisim and the Coon are very, very different. Nothing's different up top, is there? Uh, this one has a little bit different uh, addition to the cedar. Cedar? What? There's no cedar on this, is there? Am I missing something? Did I miss something on that one, everyone? Oh, maybe I did. It says it's seeds. I don't... Oh, I wonder, Evan, you probably have to have... Well, that doesn't make sense. There's nothing on here for seeding. How would you seed with this? It says it's seeds down here, everyone. Okay, I'm slightly confused by that. We might have to go back and revisit that one. Uh, I did not realize that that one says it's seeds. Like, how would it seed? Maybe if you have a seeder attached to it or something. Uh, though I don't know where you'd put a seeder on this setup, everyone. No idea. Well, let's go check them. Okay, the plot thickens here further. Combinations. Yeah, there's no cedar combination with this. Not sure why it says it seeds. Hmm. We'll be right back, everyone. Let's check this. Okay, I just uh, realized, everyone, there's actually a design configuration up here. None of the other ones have that, by the way. This is the only one that has apparently a design configuration. So there you go. And now you can see to this. That makes a little bit more sense. So that does apparently count as a uh, cedar if you want to uh, seed with it. Apparently only does, uh, looks like your grasses, oil seed, and canola. So your small seeds there, by the way. So you could plant those if you wanted to with that. I would assume that when you'd probably end up with the same, same type as you would with this setup here. Because both of these cultivate. So 
you probably end up with the same results. So that one, I think that's going to do it here for the subsoilers. Again, hope that helped. Uh, maybe I wasn't about as confused as I am now here. So anyway, again, I'm with that. Thanks for watching. Comments or questions, be sure to leave them down below. And until next time.